the Edmonton Oilers and Calgary Flames first and second in the Western Conference right now. Ooh, it's the 80s all over again, man. Both teams have looked great. We have been on the record as, you know, not liking the Daryl Sutter hire and being very Yeah. Like we we were we were concerned for the Calgary Flames moving forward. Mildly. And I think a lot of people know how I feel specifically about the Edmonton Oilers. I've been on the record as just not believing in this team over the last few seasons. Um, but let's start the conversation here, Lapore, with which team do you believe in more? Oh, which team do you believe in more this season? Do you want to start things off or would you sure. like me to? Why not? I'll start things okay, off. Go for it. Okay. Cause I think I know what, based on your track record, Bruno, with these teams, I think I know which direction you're going to go. <laughs> um, I will say believe in more. So I, I, my assumption is that by that, you mean which team would I bet on to make a playoff run? Yeah, like this actually, year, do, let, let's just talk about this year. Oh, yeah, we're just doing this. Year. Which team do you believe in more to go further in the playoffs? Because I think at this point, we can both agree that these teams should easily make the playoffs, especially in that Pacific division. So, which team do you believe in more to make a deeper run in the Stanley Cup playoffs? Okay, so if I looked at the two lineups and I compared the two lineups and I tried to circle as many players as possible who I really liked. I think there would be more players on the side of the Calgary Flames. I mean, Kachuk, Manjapane, Lindholm, you, you keep going. I mean, they got Mark Sherman Nets. Johnny Gaudreau. Solid team. Yeah, Johnny Goudreau, Sean Monaghan. I mean, I, a lot, we were saying last year on the show that we were shocked by their regular season. Like, we didn't expect them to not have – we everyone or most people expected them to be in the playoffs. And things didn't go well for them. They have a lot of pieces, a lot of good young pieces. They seem to be more dialed in now to Sutter system. But I will say, Bruno, that I more believe in the Edmonton Oilers. And I often say on this show that I hate to be overly simplistic, but it's a two-word answer, Connor McDavid. He's the best player in the world. And I think it goes even further. The guy is a freaking alien. He doesn't make sense. The numbers he's putting up, the plays he's making, the attention he's grabbing is incredible. And I have a tough time betting against Connor McDavid right now. I, I, I really do. It's just kind of like the, the history of the National Hockey League. The star players, the best players have had playoff success. There, there, there's very few who never really had deep runs in the playoffs, even won the Stanley cup for that matter. Like people always bring up the list of, Oh, best players ever to not have won the Stanley cup. The list isn't that strong. I mean, like you see like Marcel Dion and like Sittler and those guys, but I mean, we're talking here, we're getting like kind of down the list is like the greatest players of all time. And even if they are like on that top list, like it's one or two of them. It's not like there's all these numbers of like these elite players who haven't won cups. So at this point right now, I will say, I have more faith in the Edmonton Oilers. And also because the Edmonton Oilers are it's, I'm finding, I'm trying to find a better way to word this than like a very regular season team. So I think in a weak Western conference, and it is a really weak Western conference, I think they're going to beat up on a lot of teams and they're going to put together a heck of a record. I mean, they have so far anyway, and there's no reason to think it shouldn't keep going. Maybe not at the pace it currently is, but I think it'll keep going. So they're going to get better seating. So, I mean, you see the Calgary, let's say like we talked before about the division, if the Flames end up with, say, Vegas, a healthy Vegas team in the first round, that could be dangerous. Whereas if the Oilers, they, they could be the top team in the Western Conference, maybe like who do they get? So long story short, I have more faith in the Edmonton Oilers than the Calgary Flames. That's totally fair, Lepore. And I do agree with you when it comes to Connor McDavid and even Leon Dreisaitl. They're no, cyborgs about him. at this point. <laughs> it is absolutely absurd. McDavid and Drysaddle are both on pace for over 180 points. Yeah, I saw like, that. Like, <laughs> just, like, process Step that back for a, a second. second. Yeah. They're on pace for 180-plus points each. I haven't checked the era-adjusted seasons, 
But I would believe that these are probably two, they're on pace to have two of the greatest era adjusted seasons in NHL history. It's got to be. It's got to be. And and last year, seeing McDavid put up 104 points in 56 games, like that was outrageous. Mm -hmm. But he's been even better this season. How Mm -hmm. is that even possible? And Dreisaitl, same thing. They are just ridiculous. But saying that, but but. I still have (laughs) concerns when it comes to the Edmonton Oilers. And number one is I still don't think they're that good defensively. And just looking at some of the numbers right now, rank 28th in the National Hockey League in shots against per game. They are giving up 33.9 shots per game. You go look at at their Corsi numbers. So Corsi 4 percentage, which basically shows the percentage of shot attempts a team is getting per game. Right now, the Minnesota Wild are number one in the league at 55%. Calgary's number two at just under 55%. Then you have the Leafs, number four, at 54%. The Edmonton Oilers are 16th in the NHL, controlling just 50% of the shot attempts. So okay. they're still giving up shots. They're giving up scoring chances. As good as McDavid and Dreisaitl have been, I still think that there have been issues with this team, specifically in keeping action out of their own end and not getting into track meets and things like that. And then you look at their power play, Lapore. It doesn't even make sense right now. The Oilers' power play is operating at 50%. What? 50%. Okay, I didn't know it was that high. Right behind them is the St. Louis Blues at 32%. Okay. So, like, that that, that obviously isn't going to continue. So, as good as those guys have been, and I think Edmonton is going to just steamroll their way into the playoffs, I still need to see it because I saw this last season where this team – was incredible offensively. McDavid had one of the greatest era-adjusted seasons of all time, and they got swept in the first round against the Winnipeg Jets. Mm -hmm. And it's kind of like the Leafs, right? As good as the Leafs are in the regular season, I still need to see them win a playoff series. I don't care if Matthews and Marner both get 110 points and Matthews scores 60 goals. Sure, it's great, and Leafs Nation is going to love that, but until they actually prove that they can win a playoff series... None of it matters. And I view the Edmonton Oilers in the same light. Now, switching things over to the Calgary Flames and why I believe in them more, I love how they've essentially really bought into this Daryl Sutter system. We all know Daryl Sutter, one of the best defensive-minded coaches in the league. We've seen him do this in multiple stops. I am I'm on the record as, as, as someone who thought that he wouldn't be able to turn it around in Calgary, but this team looks good right now. Just looking at the numbers... Right now, Calgary, defensively, second in the league, allowing just two goals a game. So that's very Daryl Sutter-like. But offensively, they've also been really good. Fifth in the league in goals per game. The power play, Calgary, tied for sixth in the league at over 26%. The penalty kill has also been good. Top eight in the league. Their possession numbers, as I alluded to, Looking at their Corsi numbers, Calgary second in the league, controlling 54% of the shot attempts per game, or just overall for that matter. I like everything I'm seeing. Jacob Markstrom has been excellent. I just think this team across the board is a better all-around team than the Edmonton Oilers, and I think they're more built to win in the playoffs than the Edmonton Oilers are, as good as Drysaddle and McDavid have been. And those guys... They can essentially carry a house league team to the playoffs at this point. But that is why I believe in the Calgary Flames, because they've been great defensively. Offensively, they're getting contributions throughout the lineup. They're almost playing kind of like, it might seem crazy to say, kind of like those LA Kings teams that Daryl Sutter coached seven, eight years ago. And I'm not saying it's the same personnel and, You know, like Johnny Gaudreau is an Andre Kopitar and there's no Drew Doughty on the Calgary Flames. But looking at the numbers and the way that they play, there are some similarities there. So I'm going to say I believe more in the Calgary Flames and I think that they will be more successful in the playoffs than the Edmonton Oilers. I love it when we disagree, Bruno.